Hey everyone, my name is Angie. I'm super excited to welcome you into the NLAB studio for our very first video, Building a Light. At NLAB, we believe the best way to learn is not through textbooks or endless equations, but instead by building the circuits that you're familiar with, that you use in your everyday life. Now don't get us wrong, you're still gonna learn how electricity works, but we're gonna focus on what you came here for, which is building cool projects, I hope, I think. That's what I'm here for anyway. So let's kick things off by building our very first circuit, a light, which is arguably the most popular circuit out there. Let's get started. To build a light, we need just three things from your circuits kit. Let's gather them up. First off, hook up your NLAB Plus breadboard. If you haven't done this yet, check out our previous video. It shows you how to set everything up. The second thing you need in addition to this is something called a resistor. It looks like this. We'll explain what this is later. Just know that it's gonna help control the flow of electricity in your circuit. If you go rummaging through your kit, you'll notice that there's a ton of resistors in there with different colored stripes. What you're looking for in this activity is the resistor with the color code orange, orange, brown, gold. Now, if you're having trouble finding it, remember to also try flipping the resistors this way because you might be reading it backwards. Not that I would know because I've never done that before in my life. Once you find that, you can locate the third and final component, which is, you guessed it, the light. It looks like this, and this is actually something called an LED. It stands for Light Emitting Diode. Again, we'll talk about that more in a later video. Build now, learn later. Now there's a ton of different colors of LEDs in your kit. You can choose any color you want. I chose red because I'm feeling fiery. And that's it. That's everything we need. We're ready to build. Make sure your NLAB is plugged into your laptop and powered off. Right now we have it powered on. You see all these lights on. If we power it off, only the green lights are shown. We'll first plug our LED into the power that's going to be coming from our NLAB when we turn it on. To access this power, we need to plug a leg of the LED into any hole on this column that is labeled 5V. That means that each of these holes in this column will provide five volts of power. But which leg of the LED do I plug into the breadboard? Great question. Because if you noticed, there's actually two legs of the LED and one leg is longer than the other. We're gonna plug the longer leg of the LED into the 5V column. This is because for LEDs, we want the longer leg to be pointed towards the power source. So we're gonna take the longer leg of our LED and plug it into the 5V column on the breadboard. Anywhere in any of these holes is fine. And then we're gonna take the shorter leg of the LED and plug it into anywhere in this area here. So take our long leg of the LED, put it in anywhere in this column, and then pick a hole, any hole. And that's step one. Now we're gonna move on to our resistor. For this guy, there's no difference in the legs, so you can plug it in either way. So take the first leg of your resistor, again, it doesn't matter which, and plug it into the same row as the short leg of the LED. Finally, the last step, we're gonna take the other leg of the resistor, the one we haven't plugged in yet, and put it in this column over here, the column that is next to this blue line, the column that corresponds to this, it says GND, which stands for ground. Now what ground means is that we're bringing the circuit to an end. We're closing her up. Now, if we got this right, in theory, when we turn power on, on the NLAB, the circuit should turn on and the light should light up. Let's give it a try. Let's turn on the power. Voila, you did it. You built your first circuit. You've taken your first step into the magical world of electronics. Now, if your light didn't turn on, don't worry about it. It's usually a simple error going on. A few troubleshooting tips. Make sure your LED is facing the right way. So the long leg of the LED is in the 5V column and the short leg is somewhere over here. And then make sure that short leg is sharing the same row as this leg of the resistor. And then of course, make sure that this leg of the resistor is connected to the GND or ground column. And again, don't worry if you didn't get this right the first time. We're gonna mess up a lot on this thing. 
myself included. That's kind of the whole point of NLAB is to make a few things, break a few things, and learn why, and have fun doing it. And that's our first video. Congratulations on starting your electronics journey. We hope you had fun because we have a lot more cool projects for you to build. Until next time, I'm Angie. Thanks for watching.